Hey guys and welcome back to Landstriders Futures Edge hosted by aim to game Servers where I have been building quite a lot of stuff around here but this means I've been gathering many materials and I've now got myself a little bit of a storage issue. You can see I have many chests full up. Hey dude, how's it going? Uh, Alright, bye then. Uh, cool. And I said last time that I was maybe going to turn this little L-shaped section here into a storage depot. I was going to call it store it. Something like that. Now, if we come into the quest, we can see that over here in the storage line, there are all sorts of quests to be done. So we're going to get on with that. And I think the first one we're going to do is make a basic set of 2x2 two two drawers. Or half drawers. I'm not sure which one it wants us to do there. But we can definitely get on and do something. Things. If we come over to this far side here, you'll see I have all the materials I got from leveling the village that was here. Uh, so we can probably turn a whole load of these into materials. In fact, I'm going to take both of those stacks. I was like, do I take the full stack? Do I take the partial stack? I'm, I'm going to take this and make a whole load of chests. Because you know chests are going to be important, especially when making drawers. Uh, so we'll try the standard 2x2 two two first, because that, that's always a nice one. Let's, let's go there. Uh, it's four in the corners and then just fill in the rest. So all I'm going to be able to actually do is make two chests like that, uh, two drawers like this. I think I only want the one though. Let's just grab the one and get the quest because there might be more important storage quests to be done. Okay, so we've got two items to claim as a reward. The first one is the partial heart and the second one, I'm going to take the digging backpack because, you know, backpacks are cool. I could take a whole load of drawers or perhaps get these storage upgrades, which are quite tasty, you know, being able to put twice the 1024 or whatever it is you can put in them. Uh, but no, I'm going to I'm going to grab the, the backpack, as I believe almost everybody has been doing on the server. Okay, what's the next thing we want to do? Compacting drawers. I mean, these are good for things like uh, metal resources and stuff like that. You'll see that they come with three slots in them. That's one for ingots, one for blocks, and one for nuggets. Pretty good, right? I, once again, have no idea how... Oh, look, we can get loads of compacting drawers and some sticky pistons, which might be a good idea to get sticky pistons. I do have some slime balls. And I also, actually, now that I stop and think about it, know where slimes spawn. Uh, controller compactor. That's what we want. So some stone, a couple of pistons, a drawer of some description, and iron. And compacting drawer. Ah, oh, great. That, that was nice. That was pretty simple, actually. Now, what were we going to take here? I was actually going to grab the more compacting drawers. Uh, because, as I say, I think I know where a slime chunk is. The, uh, the redstone comparators might have been useful, but I've got a feeling in the modded game that we are playing, there are going to be better ways of doing what a comparator does. Just just a, an idea. The draw network controller. We'd need to make the draw controller. Now, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, this, div this device will link all connected drawers as a large single inventory and allows for automated access to the network, which sounds like something we want to be doing. And also, wow, look at these diamonds, emeralds, framed drawers. I think I'm probably actually going to want the emeralds out of everything there. But let's make the... These guards, they, they creep me out sometimes, you know. I'm just kind of like chilling around, doing my thing, wondering why I've got so many twins in this village. And then there's this guy, just stood here, staring at me. What do you want, Salvatore? What do you want, interact, chat? Did you seriously just say that? I think it's because I've got my sword in my hand. I think I think this is an issue that actually happens now. So, not the compacting draw, the... Was that the one I wanted? Draw controller. Okay, so we need a couple of comparators. Oh, man. Is that is that why I wanted them? Let's have a look and see if I've got any quartz in here. I do have quartz. Oh, thankfully. Wow, that, that could have gone horrifically wrong. Uh, six bits of redstone for that. And thankfully, I cooked off a whole load. Ah, uh, not enough load up there. Let's let's put another couple of stack, a uh, couple of coals worth in there. Uh, I can make one of them pretty quickly, but the other one is going to take that stone, unfortunately. Make all those redstone torches, and then boom, boom, boom. It's almost as if I know this uh, recipe off the top of my head, but, you know, if anybody's watched any of my vanilla series is... You know that I do know that one off the top of my head. We just got to wait these few seconds here. And I'm sure in the time it takes me to point out that we have to wait for those seconds, this extra bit of stone would have been cooked. Great. 
Once again, single draw coming to the front there. Let's have a look. The draw controller. I should be able to, once I get some more stone, just click that up. Oh, waiting. Draw controller. Awesome. Awesome. Almost at the point where we can start putting stuff down in the area that I want to put it. Like I was saying, emeralds here because they're going to be the hard one to find, right? That That's what I'm thinking there. Slaves. This device, when attached to a draw network, will provide an alternative point for automated access. So this requires one controller and does not extend the range of the network. Okay, so I could put this at, say, we had like a controller down one end and then a whole load of drawers and we could have this slave at the other end and then we could use the slave like we would use the controller. I think. I think that's how it's worked. Uh, so let's try and see how this uh, gets made. In here we have the sleigh. We need a single bit of gold, some stone, another couple of comparators, and a drawer again. Oh man, ripping through these quests. But that is kind of what I wanted to do today. As the past few episodes that we've been doing, not exactly been quest heavy. Uh, in fact, they've been building heavy. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave these reward choices here. I'm not sure whether I want this storage upgrade or the showing the fill level upgrade. Uh, I'm probably actually going to want the storage upgrade. But we will leave it at that for now. Now, what is this unlocked? It has unlocked this key. Uh, well, no, it's not really, but we, we will use that anyway. I do not know how... A oh, personal key is not going to be a thing that is needed. I do not know how to make this draw key, so let's have a look inside. Uh, is it over here? It is brilliant. So we just need a couple of bits of gold, a gold ingot, and an upgrade template. The upgrade template is, of course, a draw and some sticks around it. Okay, we can, we can do all that. Oh yeah, lock it down. Let's have a sleep, shall we? Oh no, go away. go away. So you finally get to see on camera that these things appear and really mess up my, my evening. I was about to say mess up my day, but of course it's not my day that they're messing up. It's my sleep time. A bone! Oh wait, it's post for them. I get except, uh, excited about bones in. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Uh, let's uh, have a look over here. I think the first thing we're going to have to do is do some grass cutting. Uh, that That is a must. We might even get some interesting brand of... Brand? Yeah, brands. Brands of seeds. Uh, who knows what we will get over here. I've just noticed it is super dark. Super dark. There we go. <laughs> Throw up those torches for the best of... For the best lighting. That, that's the phrase I was looking for. Hey, little lime golem dude. How are you doing? Okay, so I think the first thing I actually want to do is make more drawers. Uh, I'm looking at what I've got here, and it's, it's some good stuff. Like the compact... the Gold can go in the compacting drawer and stuff like that, but there's things like cobble that I need to put places, and then all the various types of wood. In fact, I could probably do with many basic drawer two by twos. Give me a second to make a whole load of stuff. <laughs> From all that grass cutting, I got some mustard seed. Like, what? What is that? Okay, so drawers are nice and easy. We've already looked at this. So I'm going to take this over here. Now, I want to take some cobble with... I've got I've got cobble on me all over the shop. Okay, that is cool. All right, we're not going to put anything in the corner, but let's try putting these like this. Uh, then we want to have some compacting drawers also in this system. We will, of course, tidy this all up a lot, lot nicer later on. We want the drawer controller down here. Now, I believe I can just, I don't know, say put some cobble up there and then pop it all in here. Look at that. Brilliant. Do you see that? And it even tells me I've got five stacks plus 54 cobble. Amazing. I was kind of hoping that the cobble here could go into a compacting drawer, but it's uh, extra utilities that gives us compressed cobblestone, and this doesn't do it, unfortunately. But I can, however, place the gold in here, and it'll break down everything into the correct amount. So you can see we've got all the... Uh, all the nuggets and ingots and blocks there. So let's go and get all my materials and throw a few of them in there. Maybe having oak on oak wasn't the best idea. I can't really see what's going on here. That is pretty good. Uh, we're going to put some stone in with the cobble. That's nice and good. I think maybe we can put some ores in with cobble as well. But we do have a lot of ores to worry about. So I'm wondering what I'm going to be doing with this slave as it's actually quite a little compact room I've got here. And then I'm wondering whether I can put it in the corner and use it to turn this corner. Because obviously I don't want to put any actual drawers here because I'm not going to be able to access them. But if I pop a drawer there, I don't have a drawer to put down there. But if I put some drawers here, this might turn the corner. Should we go make some more and find out what happens? Okay, so I've put the cobble over there. You'll notice around the corner and then you... Throw it in the drawer controller. Yeah, it goes exactly where I wanted to do. I may have thrown a whole load of cobble everywhere when I broke that drawer. But, yeah, look at that. 
Perfect. Not lost any? Not lost any. Ooh. So I was going through working through the list of these seeds here to do for a quest. Not, not really for anything, just to... Uh, finish up the quest and it turns out I have everything apart from the scallion and I was about to go off on a massive bone meal and break session and I was like wait no I could do that better than this as long as that wasn't scallion okay cool uh, observe one enclosed area and one bucket of water uh, hopefully we should just be able to come along here like this maybe pop the water here oh feel those frames drop what's going on with that Okay, well then you just go around and pick up all your seeds, and hopefully you got what you're after. Now, I don't think... Well, I'm a little bit upset that it washed away those gravestones, but I will do something about that. Right, let's have a quick look. Have we got ourselves the scallion? No, we do have the industrial hemp, though, and that is another quest that we need to be getting on. So I reckon if I just do one... I don't want to. I don't want to put a torch down there. One, two. That should be enough to swipe them all away. Carry on swiping, and see if we got anything better. Forty minutes and two stacks of bone meal later, I have all of these seeds and so many poppies and dandelions. Like I put another stack of dandelions in a chest. But the one thing you will notice is that none of them are actually scallion so if you could please be wary wary quiet i'm hunting scallions <laughs> i am of course at landstrider and dornell's base i'm going to see if i can spot their farms anywhere and maybe go take advantage of like all the extra work that they put into their game uh so ooh. oh 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 Look at this, I can't even get in. But I think from here I should be able to just jump up and over. Hacks. Ultimate hacks. Uh, I have assumed that Landstrider would be okay with me, like, uh, taking and replanting some scallions. I, I can't imagine it's going to impact anything he's doing. That's water chestnut. Um, of course, Landstrider, if you're watching this and you didn't like me doing this, come, come along and... and tell me and I, I will give back the scallions that I stole uh, having a little bit of ooh, just as I was saying that having a little bit of trouble with finding them I just want the uh, uh, sad times these claim chunks I bet you these claim chunks yeah look here's the border Landstriders team wilderness Landstriders team okay so I've got one other place that I can go check quickly before night falls I've noticed they have a few windy gardens over there now I don't want to take out loads because obviously it is kind of a natural resource around here but it's something that I don't have in my area do you think maybe up there would be a better place like there's some buildings there so I don't want to get too close to taking out the ones around the building I, I, okay I'm, I'm gonna just take say three from here Okay, we got artichoke, mustard seed, chili pepper. And the, these are not good. We have wheat and winter squash. I mean, this is still stuff that I don't have. But none of these are actually what I'm after, I don't think. Oh, God, I'm going to do one more. Uh, cucumber. No, no, I don't think they are. I'm going to have to look on a wiki, aren't I? God, wikis. Okay, so unfortunately that didn't get me what I was after. It turns out I was after soggy gardens. But out of the stuff that I got, I think all this bottom row here is new to me. And this top row here, maybe with the exception of the potato, is old. So I'm going to go put all these away and change these into seeds. Okay, so when I go over these, the ones that are new should go into the top row... Yeah, a few of them, a few of them. Okay, that's cool. Uh, something else that I want to point out, or that I want to do, rather. Uh, because we couldn't do the find them all quest, we can... Well, not because, but even though we couldn't do that, I, we can do this soya bean one. Now, it's going to consume eight of my soya beans, but I believe I am absolutely stacked with them anyway. So that that's quite all right. Hi, I'm Twitchy. Who are you? You've, you've been walking around for a little while now. I've noticed your pig apron a few times. Right, this should be detected and submit. Awesome. Was there anything else to it? There was not. So we get to choose either pistons, tofu, or soya milk. Uh, I, I, 
I can make them all. I don't know. Let's get the pistons. I've got a feeling they are there to help me with the next quest. And, you know, this claim button is also here to help me. Oh, yes, it is. The next one is to do the pressure. Now, you guys should know that this is for uh, compressing the soya beans down into soya milk and stuff like that. So what do we need to do to make the presser? Let's wander on out here and have a look. I don't know why I've come out here. Uh, most of my items are actually over in the area over there now but let's look in the jei oh man there are a lot of things with the word press in it but here we go the presser we need oh look at that two pistons and a bunch of iron which we actually already have so let's go over to compacting drawers and pull out the six iron that we need maybe this is a little bit far away from my crafting bench that that's why I put this one down here. Okay, we want one, two... Oh, we actually want six of these, don't we? It was two pistons. Uh, and it should be just as simple as clicking the do it button. Yeah. Maybe I should have made a copper one. But that is that one complete. Let's go and put it over in the kitchen. And hopefully when we complete this quest line, I'm going to actually get the presser as well, because I do believe there are two stages to the pressing of soya. We'll put these here for now. I'm probably going to knock this wall through and make like both of these units into one. We'll take this door off, maybe put a big kitchen window on there. Uh, let's put... Oh, can this... Hey, that was quick, quickly to, to break it. Can this access this? I'm just going to pop it there to see. Do we have any access to soy products? I don't see any anywhere, so we're gonna have to do it manually. That is totally okay, all right, and awesome. We'll take half of them and put them in this first stage presser. Now, we just need to wait for this to go all the way across. Those of you that were with me for post for would have already seen this, but it is slightly different. Well, this time we get grain bait, grain bait, grain bait. Uh, which I presume is the husk of the soya bean, and some silken tofu. Now this silken tofu can be used in our uh, multi-kitchen setup here for all sorts of things. It replaces cream, ice cream, silk tofu, uh, just all sorts of stuff. And if we come in here, I'm not sure which way we would have to arrange it, but uh, caramel, sugar, butter, okay? We can use the tofu and some salt to make butter, which to me sounds a little bit weird, but that, that's what we've got, so we will deal with it. Let's pop all those away. Now, we can actually take this silken tofu and push it through the next stage of pressing. Now, this is pretty cool because it gives us two food products. One of them is a liquid component and one of them is a firm component. Now, this foam firm component is used for like almost all meat replacements. Uh, and the milk is milk, you know, it, it gives you a milk replacement, which means that if we come in here and have a look, there's suddenly all all these other things we can do. Oh, look, potato and chips, that makes sense. Cornflakes is with soya milk. Oh, that, that looks really tasty, actually. Pancakes is also with soya milk. Um, what else? Bacon and eggs, oh, that's with the maca meat. But I could use uh, the firm tofu there instead. It's amazing. So some of you might be asking, but what is the grain bait about? And I will be happy to show you because this is actually part of another quest line if we uh, have a look in here quests trapping for food now i've already made one of them for reasons that i won't go into now it was just i was trying to follow the uh trying to follow a thread for something and it, it, it failed on me but we need to make a ground trap and a water trap and i will quite happily make new of both so i'm going to take some string because they are integral to both traps and i will have a look here and see exactly what we need for both of them for the ground trap we need sticks string chest and wooden trap door and for the water trap we need sticks string chest and fishing rod Okay, so the ground trap is done like with the wooden trap door and the fishing trap is done like that. Brilliant. Let's take in all these scrap materials. Now, what are these two things I have just made here? So the ground trap... Oh, look at that. Trapping for food. Uh, as you may have guessed by the name... Oh, go away, Mr. Dirt Knight. Boom. Oh, did he just suddenly... Wow. Where did that come... Are you not allowed to critical hit these guys? Is this what I'm being told here? I don't know. Should we try it again? 
no, no, the crits seem to work fine. <laughs> okay, a little bit of excitement there. Let's put the ground trap in there. And what we do is we take the ground bait, the, the grain bait, sorry, and we pop it in. And over a course of time, this will get transferred, uh, or sorry, exchanged for meat and feathers and like everything you would find from ground dwelling animals, such as pigs, chickens, and such forth. In fact, that might even be enough time already. No. Okay, so we've got a load more grain bait from the soya so we should be able to go over and pop it into here not enough time has passed yet in fact i'm worried that maybe this hasn't got enough surfaces exposed uh so let's try taking it out over here maybe it needs to be under sunlight or something like that there could be all sorts of funny things oh my digging pack pack stole it didn't it yeah there we go a little bit of dirt brilliant cool uh, so that should hopefully just sit there and tick over. Now, the water one, it actually needs to be away from the side. And I don't have any... I'm well, saying I don't have any. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a stack of cobble on my bar there. And if I cycle through the modes that this digger's backpack has by pressing shift and right-clicking, I find this downward arrow one, which is the resupply mode. And there, that way it will uh, keep... A full stack of whatever I, whatever I have on my hotbar for me. Now, I can't actually place blocks while I'm in a boat. That's a little bit unfortunate, actually. I was kind of hoping I could. So we'll come out a little way like this and put a water trap on the side. Now, you might be thinking, great, now you put the ground, the grain bait in there. If only it was as simple as that. Hmm, how to move a boat around, eh? Uh, what I actually need is some fish bait. Now, that unfortunately, is made from fish itself. So let, let's find the bait. Yeah, fish bait trap. You can see that it's only made from fish and string. So we should go and have a look inside my fridge. Let's see what I've got over time. So unfortunately, I only have a single fish. So that is something we need to... Do you guys see that? Look at all this. Is that an actual representation of everything that's in it? It is, look. I, I noticed it because when I removed stuff, I saw some movement in the background. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. We've got some raw octopus. I don't think that's enough. So I think what we're going to have to do, maybe, is make ourselves... Oh, no. Good. Brilliant. I was just like, hey, maybe there's a reward for it. I was about to say maybe we should go and make ourselves a fishing rod and make some... Uh, make some fish that way. But no, 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 no. We're just going to claim this fish bait. Nice. I really do miss the fact that it doesn't give me any, like, audio indication of completing my quest. I could... I I'm a man of, like, simple needs and... Oh, look, we got some chicken already. And reinforcement when I do things well is one of those needs. I love the fact that you can use boats like... Oh, I was about to say, like, platforms, but I must not have been in the middle of it. Hmm, that's a little bit annoying. And this will now just tick over quietly. What? Why is that over there? Do you guys see that? Let's get to the boat. Distraction value is high today, which is a little bit unfortunate as I really wanted to push on with some, with some quests. Is that actually a chest down there? I'm not sure if I've got an empty enough inventory to deal with this. Uh, is there going to be like a spawner under it? No, there's a bit of glowstone underneath. And inside we've just got some fish. Okay, um... That was a bit weird. And the light's got... No, the light's not gone out, but I turned around and looked in the wrong direction, so there was all no light. And I'm going to die. No, I'm not. Woo. So one thing we definitely need to do at some point is actually put some sort of dockyard out the back here, probably when we've got on with a couple more floors. I'm not sure if these jumps from quest to quest are too much for you guys, but it's what we're going to do for the next, uh, well, however many minutes are left of this episode. So one of the things that we got whilst we were trying to search for scallions was these industrial hemp seeds. And with a little bit of application of bone meal, I can now do this and get myself some industrial hemp fibre. The reason I did that was because of this quest line here. We got both of those, so we get to claim ourselves some more rewards. Now, I don't know what I'm going to get, but I think it might actually be the blackberry jelly sandwich because both of these things I almost have on tap. Okay, nice. Uh, the Master Chef. I've not collected any of the rewards here. I think I'm actually going to go for the diamonds. I'm not sure why. It's, it's just kind of what I wanted. Fishing for food. Make a fishing rod and then get all of those things. Ooh, actually, I've, I've already got all of this. So let's go craft a fishing rod. 
simple when you know how really and in here I should have a puffer fish I left this in this chest because this is kind of my assorted items as opposed to my food which I put over this way which I think it wanted a raw fish and a clown fish probably a salmon as well now that I think about it I don't think that quest wanted the clown f uh, puffer fish no it didn't oh well that's a shame what are we gonna get I think ooh. Yeah, I, I mean, I was doing an iron about the quarter of the heart and the fish dinner, and then I saw this Law 3 Luck of the C3. That's awesome. I'm going to get that. I don't know if we can put that in a machine to make that more useful. Place to place your head. I need to go quest to uh, create a bed. Okay, I, I think we can do that. I'm, I'm not sure why I think I can make a bed, but I just... I have a feeling that this is within my skill set somehow. All right, cool. If I had known that that was a quest, I would have done it much earlier. What are we going to get? Maybe some wool? Maybe the raspberry jam sandwich? Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that, actually. Uh, because I can make wool. I get I get plant... I get uh, hemp fibers, turn it into string, turn the string into wool, and everything's all good. All right, let's just tidy up this beginning once more quest line, and we will done I believe well apart from they got to find them all so to make the work table this is actually relatively simple I believe it should be just a crafting table a chest and a book nailing it oh that's really good now I've been told several times that the quests will not pick up crafts that are done inside the workbench uh, for those who don't know it's like an extended project table you can like craft stuff up do I have anything that I can craft here uh, so say we craft a lever Ah, and of course you need to put the materials underneath because this is just where you set the, re the recipe. You craft the lever and then it will remember your recipe. So even when this is cleared off, you can click on there and do it again. It will remember the, the past five, though if you right click it, yeah, you can save the, the recipe there. Say you want this to be specifically your lever table for some unknown reason. Something else I want to do with you guys before I uh, jump off to the next quest. Look at all these half hearts we have. Uh, sorry, quarter hearts we have. I have a half heart left over. So I think what we're going to do is eat all of these. Um, nom, 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 that's, that's good. That's good. Okay, the next thing I want to do... Say thank you very much for joining me for this sorting, quest, finishing, exploring, trying to steal but can't quite adventure. Woo! I will see you next time. We're going to do a few more of the quests, including getting on to the technology tree. Uh, I know it kind of seemed we did a few of those things today, but trust me, it was all just storage. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!